Okay, so I just cleaned hamster's cage, threw my hair in a ponytail, and the three of us, me, Brian, and Freddie, are gonna head out and try to find the park. It's really late. It's like five o'clock, and uh, it's gonna probably get dark. But um, I don't know. Had to clean Piney. I don't know where she went. It's Brian outside. It's only I'm taking too long. Say hi. Okay, so we're in Vorky's. Um, I think it's Colonial Park. Bride, grab some bags. I'll shove them in my purse for her. Wait, hold on. Here, I'll go, go get the bags. I'll hold her for you. You gotta wait. Yeah. There's nothing there. Huh? I found it. You found it? Yeah. Freddie, you're a problem child. Frederica. What's on your face? Let me see your face, Freddie. Freddie, look, dogs. It's where you first come in. There's another dog. Say hi. Say hi, Freddy. <gasps> oh, your dog's so cute. What's your dog's name? Freddy. Freddy. What's your dog's name? Oh, adorable. All right, you want the little run back? Yeah, I always have her. You can have her. I'll tape for a change. Are you serious? Do you want to just sit in the bathroom all day? Airplane. Look how pretty that is. That's a pretty sky. So at this park, you're not allowed on the path, just this one, to go straight to the dog path, or dog park. That's where we came from. And then, that is for the little dogs, and then right next to it is one for the big dogs, but it's separated.
Federica, let's go. Hi, Freddy. Freddy, look where we are. Are we at the doggy park? All dogs here only. All rules strictly enforced. So this is the little dog section and that's the big dog section. Thank you. Freedom! Hurry up, get in. But she has to stay in, she knows that. I got it. Freddie, do you like Mountain Dew? Freddie, what do you do in your spare time? Do you like Tiny? Should we have brought Tiny with us? Yeah. Is it Daddy? We brought Daddy with us this time? He wasn't here with us yesterday. What happened? Oh no. It was just a mommy daughter day. Huh? Were you talking to me? No. Do you want to jump up? Go on. You're going to anyway, so you might as well. Oh, look at them playing. Oh my god, I turn away for one second and she's on the bench. There's a little dog in the, in the big dogs. Look how little that dog is. The one barking. That's weird. Freddy, is there a reason why you're on a bench? Uh, maybe there's an inoculars. They made it to San Francisco so far. They went from Arlton. Oh, Bryce working at the park. Check out the sky. Right here. That's pretty. Look at the glow. Okay, that one dog's barking way too much. Getting annoying. Freddy won't do that. Are you Frederica? Freddy, are you gonna go mingle? Freddy, you should go mingle. Do you wanna make friends? Yeah, you wanna make friends? Freddy, are you antisocial? You wanna be like Coco? Freddie, you're so exciting.
So, like I always say, we're in Jersey, and it's like in its 60s today. It is so warm. Does it not stand there? Okay. That's weird. You gotta be really careful. Freddy, you wanna come up here? Come up here, Freddy. Come here, Freddy. Freddy. Maybe that's why they have the dog by itself, because it's too aggressive. Come here, Freddy. Come on, you can jump. Good girl. Oh my God, sweetie, <laughs> this is not where doggies go. They don't go on picnic tables. No, they mingle with other doggies. I know, it's okay, you got confused. I know, it's confusing. What are you doing? Did she jump up there? Yeah, she did. I actually got it on tape. <laughs> She's smiling. Look at that face. She's like, I'm special. Are you really sitting on a picnic table? Alright, this is embarrassing. Can you go, like, mingle with the dogs instead of walking around on a picnic table? She's ridiculous. She really is. She's such a Freddy. Are you going to lie down? That's what you do at a dog park? You just like do an out. That's just like... So wait, we took you to a dog park. Yeah, so you can lie on a picnic table. Correct? Cool. Okay, so this is like the cutest thing in the world. We just got hit from the dog park. And Tiny, you could see her sleeping because... I just cleaned her cage, so I didn't put enough, um, I didn't put enough of the paper over it, and, um, she found this little spot that she doesn't normally sleep in, this is, like, new to her, and you can see her sleeping. Let me show you. Hey, Freddy, did you have fun at the park? And she's sound asleep. And you can see her little ears sticking out. She's so cute. Freddy, did you have fun at the park? You had fun sitting on the bench? And the table? Yeah, it was embarrassing. You're a good girl, though. You're so pretty. Look at that face. Beauty. Guys, we're home from the dog park, and I have serious issues. I can't stop. I don't know what it is about mac and cheese, but... Well, for starters, 
I don't have a lot to choose from. I'm the pickiest eater in the world. And I do like mac and cheese. But, um, yeah, so. Ow! Water just splashed. I'm making that again tonight. I know. Okay, so, my hard dinner to make of macaroni and cheese turned out perfectly, and I know that I shouldn't do this, but we're going to give Freddy a taste. Yeah, she likes them. So, this, that, and some yum too. Sounds good to me. Alright guys, I am done for the night. I'm just wiped. But, I never really showed you my little setup. So, I go to bed. I have my blankets. Comforter. And I have this special blanket for my back. Because I have a messed up back. And I also have a heating pad. And then it goes off after um, a time limit. And then I also have a pillow for my um, knee. I it, You can put it in between your two legs or you can just put your one leg on it um so yeah and then I have all these and then I have a big pillow in the back so there's like 10 pillows all here and then that's all of uh Freddy stuff and um and then I just have blankets along here and I have this little hold and then my little table right here so I have it pretty good and then above the curtains I have LED lights and then that's where Brian's bed is. Freddy, it's time for jammies. And then, if I want to, I can watch the TV. And then, Tiny lives right across from me. That's actually her sleeping in the corner right now. Alright guys, good night, see you in the morning. Good morning friends, it's a new day. Okay, so it's like, it's late, but that's because I've been getting ready and doing things. Um, animals are going crazy, I just cleaned um, Tiny's cage up a little bit, and the other one is taking her morning nap. And I have to go get like an EKG and stuff, so we're going to take a trip to Medford. Um, here they are. They want to say hi, so here's Sleeping Beauty with her ear stuck. That's embarrassing. You don't want your ear stuck on camera, people might see it. And then here's this little genius. 
said last night she didn't have a hole. I don't know. She didn't make one. So I found her sleeping with no paper, nothing. So I built her this last night before I went to bed. I don't know if you could tell, but you could see straight down to the very bottom of the cage, pretty much. And then when she goes in there, of course, it covers her and she can just burrow in. Um, since she's not using that, that's become now a complete playroom. I just cleaned it all. You could kind of see the color of the blocks. You could see the orange out. And then we were playing the Fruit Loop game where, you know, I she climbs up there and I hand it to her. And then I stopped to record this, so now she's having a little snack by herself. Right, Tiny? And I am trying to reorganize jewelry and stuff. This is all my um, cheap jewelry, so it doesn't matter. But I have all my earrings here, and then I just got this for rings. And I'm thinking I should probably switch it, because the rings aren't fitting in these. Like, this one fits. But the others aren't. And then, like, look, today's earrings I just took out. Perfect. So, I don't know. And then these are, like, much bigger cases. But, um, I had this one first, and I got that one for the rings, and I got this one for the earrings, but I think I should switch it. Um, I'll leave it up to Freddy, who has Peter in her hair. Oh my god. Alright, we shall be back. Everyone call this number for fun, 201-515-7545, and harass them like they've been doing to me. Hi guys. Okay, so I'm back. I have to leave now, and of course, as soon as I have to go, now all of a sudden, I don't feel good. Which is completely normal for me, this happens like... I don't know, every day, which is another reason why working isn't the greatest idea, but the state doesn't agree. Um, so I have to go get a EKG. EKG. It sounds funny. Why is it? I, I mean, I get these all the time, and, like, I can't... It's the thing where they check your, um, heart, where they, um, pull up stickers on you, you know, and they check your heart. EKG. I'm having like the strangest like trouble remembering and I don't know why. But anyway, so um I think Bri's gonna go with me. It's like in I'm gonna go to the Medford location. I was going down to Morristown and it was this big crazy building and then they closed and we're gonna have another one and I'm like, well, if they have this like little baby office in Medford. I might as well go there because it's probably closer and easier. So I think it's down 70 just the other way from what I normally go with you guys. Um, so yeah, so I go to him like I think every six months. I don't know. I have, this is what I'm talking about. There's too many things wrong with me. Nothing contagious, nothing life threatening, but like my blood pressure is through the roof. Like I've made the machines like go off in my 30s so multiple times I thought it was funny I, I honestly had no clue like I was just like what's blood pressure like I know what blood pressure was but I didn't think it was like that big of a deal um yeah so we're gonna go to the um heart doctor I have a new one because they fired my other one because he wanted less hours so stupid Virtua fires him instead of giving him the less hours, which was, like, the most ridiculous thing. He wanted time to spend with his family, and he was a great doctor, so, yeah, I wasn't happy about that, but, whatever, so, I'm still, like, in, a, like, a trial period, kind of, with this doctor. I don't, I don't like getting new doctors. I just lost my primary doctor, and that was, like, torture, because I had him for, like, you know, 30 years or whatever, over 30 years, and, like, all of a sudden, they're gone, and it's just, like, all right, surprise, like, but, um, 
his replacement was really, it seemed really nice. But this guy, I'm not sure about yet, so we'll see how it goes. So, I'm going to go head that way, and, um, I don't know. We're going to look around and see if there's anything to, like, look at. Try to get me walking a little bit, because my, uh back and leg are just like going like crazy and the, I don't have enough pain meds in the world to fix it and nothing else is helping me and um if you're wondering about the hair so yeah I am not I decided that from now on when I'm not doing like important things I see I curl the hair like this is because the back gets like these little waves and then I added little waves and like I kept doing it to the blue hair and it was killing it between the hairspray and the heat. So I kind of left the ends a little bit straight. And this is my real hair. I don't have extensions or anything. I just dyed it. But, um, yeah, so that's what's up with the hair. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, and my rings. My hands are still hurting and I can't get all my rings on. So, right now I have there's a four in this one. And I need to get the four in this one, but, um, it's very weird, but the middle finger for both hands, I can't get the ring on, um, it just, it, it, my hands hurt, I, I really gotta go back to my hand doctor that I haven't been to in a year, um, since he's done the, he did the first surgery, and, uh, see where we're gonna go from there, so, um, yeah, wish me luck with this test and doctor and hopefully everything goes smooth because it seems like they never do and then there's always more testing and more aggravation so forth um leaving the animals behind diana's actually she's my old roommate she's on her way over here i'm not going to be here but she has her own code so she can play with the animals while i'm gone um and i'll see you guys on the road Hello. Hello, it's recording. Hello, all. Okay, so we are at the, what's it called? Cardiologist? Mm -hmm. What's the heart doctor? Cardiologist. Yeah, Riley's with me. I don't know if you can see him or not. So, um, yeah, it's right through there. Oh, virtual. So, wish me luck. Hopefully, mm -hmm. I won't, um, fail the blood pressure test because that's normally what happens. And then I get yelled at and I get in trouble, so we'll mm. see how this goes. Okay, so we're in here and um the mask is in the back. I'm so not happy that I hated the mask for a while. Like I could never breathe, I always felt like I was suffocating. They didn't tell me anything, they were just trying, but they didn't say anything, so I was just like, alright, go with it, see how long I get away with it. But uh I'm in, this is like this little facility of Virtua, and then out through there is where I came in, and they have like the main area, and then they have this little section back here with a waiting room, and like literally like, I'm sitting in the corner all by myself in here, that's how I'm getting over with this, where's my Mountain Dew, Brian's in the car, and um, yeah, so they have a cute little waiting room here, and I'll have to drive all the way to Morristown. And this drive was literally right down the street. Like, I forgot how close it was. I've only gotten here, like, two other times. I always went to the other one, the big one. It was huge. And, um, yeah, so, just waiting. And then, I don't know, we are going to look around, but, like, now we came up with things we have to do. So, who knows? We'll see. Wish me luck on this, um, on all these tests. So now we're doing the quick stop at my parents' house to get some stuff that we needed and printed and stuff and 
then we're gonna head back, I guess, and get, like, have dinner. I'm starving. And it's like, you can tell that I'm hungry. Okay. We did it. We are finally home, so we're gonna have dinner. So I have some French toast that my mom made, and then I just put some, um, cinnamon on it. I cheated. I stopped at Dunkin'. But I only got a medium. Butter pecan. And then I have leftover mac and cheese from last night. So this probably, well, first of all, it's not set up very well. But this probably doesn't look like the greatest meal in the world. Look at that. Formal dining lighting. What do you think, Freddy? So, um, yeah. That's my dinner. Um, Alexa, turn on the TV. So I think maybe a little bit of van life um, while I eat my dinner. YouTube. Okay, guys, so check this out. I made my own dish. Can you see it? So I added... Like, I put, like, the cinnamon stuff on it, and then I melted butter with sugar and everything. I made, like, this, like, cinnamon sugar type thing. It's so good. Alright. Look at that. The butter's melting. And you can see the little goo that I made. It's so good. So much better. It was a little too plain before. When she cleans herself, it looks similar to when she's eating. Sometimes I can't tell. Alright, actually, this video just started. And that's what's up. We're 20 seconds in. So let's do uh, me. Over here looking like death. Yesterday I looked, I'd say better than today. So, Brian made chicken last night, which is fine, but there was something, I don't know if it's the oven, I don't know what it is, there was so much smoke. I, <laughs> of course, I get migraines because why wouldn't I? I have everything wrong with me. And if you ever want to know what's wrong with me, I'm not like at all opposed to talking about it. Nothing is contagious. Nothing is life threatening. I have to be careful about my heart. I mean some of it's like it can be but it's not like yet. Maybe when I get older, but nothing like contagious where you like catch it or like, you know, God forbid like cancer or HIV. It's not like stuff like that. It's just like fiber and stuff like that. Like my body's just deteriorating fast for no reason. It's just all hereditary and the way I was born. And migraines is another thing that I got and they have been really good ever since I got that base piercing right here which I'll try to throw in a clip but um I don't know if you can see it right now. I can't with this um camera. I can see it on my phone here. Let me clean up for a bit. Um, anyway, I have my da good days and bad days, but I don't really have good days, but I have, like, okay days, and, um, Brian, so Brian made, oh, Brian made the chicken, but there was a lot of smoke for some reason, and the smoke, um, Freddie has trouble breathing around smoke, she's never around it, there's never been, you know, cigarette smoke or anything like that ever allowed, um, around her, but, uh, so yeah, she has like a little issue with that in spurts, and I'm an ex-smoker, so I don't like to be around smoke. But this is just chicken smoke. Like for some reason, the oven went funny, and the whole house just was poof. So um, of course, it gives me a migraine. So I went upstairs, and you know, Freddie's out here in the 
in the cleric's room with that open behind me. Um, to let air flow in. Luckily, it was not the regular, like, winter night. And, um, when I went to bed, I just closed it all up. She was running around like crazy. And, uh, so I woke up today. I was up all night because of it and because of my hands and things in my mind. Crawling. And, um, so I woke up today and I felt horrible. And I got worse and worse and worse. And then. I don't know. I finally have a pain pill that's finally actually working. I don't know why this one is because the other one didn't. And so I think it's like 2.40. I know I'm supposed to meet my mom at 3 something. So she's going to go pick up her new car. And I'm going to drop the keep off for my dad. And then I'm going to take her to, or I'm going to go to the place with her in my car. And then she'll drive home her new car and I'll get my car back. So the full car game's over, so no more cube. So it was fun. I started to like it at the end. I was so upset at the beginning and then I ended up liking it or whatever. So, um, yeah. So I'm gonna go get coffee and get this car thing over with. And I got detoured because of Heine. I only came up here to get ready and I'm barely ready. So I'm gonna do that and then that's gonna be like probably my whole day. I want to, after that, try some editing and, um, I don't know, I have like the last couple of days, like the dog park, <laughs> EKG, um, and then I'll try to put a video after this of the car, because I haven't seen it yet, but when we get there, um, and then that'll probably be it. I'm going to try to edit this out and then post it to YouTube. And, I don't know, hopefully something on it will be enjoyable for you guys. It's got, um, a lot of animal stuff, so, and we literally have a whole section for the dog park. So, hopefully, if you guys will like that, feel free to comment below. I don't know what you liked about the videos. Um, okay, so, let me finish up with Tiny's Cookie Cook Open and everything, and I'll try and set up this. I'm gonna go finish up and um, get going to get my mom. I can never find this button. I don't know how people just completely shut this off like that. Okay, so a complete change of plans. We got to my parents to take her to the um get the new car and. She ended up just switching the car, so it was my dad's car, I got my car, and we made it back here. And I'm still feeling like garbage, so I'm just like done with all this for the day. So, I'm, I know this is horrible. I'm making macaroni and cheese again. I think I'm like living off of it. It's, it, I don't know, it's like my comfort food. And I got myself some Dunkin', so I think that's what we'll do. Guys, the water's ready. Here we go. My favorite part. Wee. And it's my usual craft.
Okay. Just kind of waiting for the butter to melt. I know nobody thinks it looks good, but to me it looks so good. And then, voila. Duncan. So I always order ahead. That's why he says my name. And, um, I got butter to can, like always. So good. And then, we'll have some mac. So we'll show you. And then you heard his little taste. And then, um, Brad's watching TV in there. He's right there. It's hard to see him. So then, I'm gonna bring my beautiful meal that I worked so hard on. Um, kidding. Sarcasm. Uh, and watch whatever he's watching. So you have to get the butter. kind of melts up more. I can't feel my right hand. I just found out, actually, that, um, it's, uh, it's not looking good, so. Um, I just called my son Devin, and I called my doctor back, but did my hand one year ago, literally. And my finger. It gets covered with the jewelry, but look at my beautiful. Like I don't have any age in my in my hands at all. Like I really don't want to do this. So I just called, and they're gonna call, make an appointment, and schedule it to slice open the wrist and cut that little like thing tendon or whatever for carpal tunnel. I think it was bandaged for like, I think I was nothing for like two weeks when we did the physical therapy. It was worse, the other one was worse in only because I had two surgeries at the same time. And they had to do, they, I got trigger finger from the carpal tunnel, like it went out of place when I was sleeping. Um, so they had to do the finger and the hand. This time they're just going to have to do the wrist. So in that aspect it's better, but it's a thousand times worse because it's the right hand. And originally that's what I was going to do first, and then like I said, after the wedding, it got better on its own, which still does not make sense to me. And, um, I've been putting it off and just getting worse and worse and worse, so I just made the phone call, literally, not even a half hour ago, and we're going to schedule it, and that's going to be really hard, because I have a lot of things going on right now with my body that's not working, my knee injections, total failure, and... My back's a disaster, so the heart doctor said I did good yesterday. I passed my test. I don't know how, because I wasn't completely on all my meds because they're having bad side effects. So, um, if anyone ever wants to know the things that let me, just, uh, let me know. I'll share. I'll share what I do and everything. It's just really, like, simple things, like my right knee, my lower back stuff like that, headaches, blood pressure, tummy, um, fibro, so, um, yeah, let's go stop being sad and everything and feeling sick and I'm going to go have a meal and, ooh, enjoy, relax and stuff.